Get ready, one of our favourites is back. 31-year-old Adelaide engineer who's making his second ninja appearance. It's the return of the Furbinator, also known as... Stuart Furs. Stuart Furs! Last year was very nerve-wracking, especially the first time stepping onto the podium. Here he is, our lightest male ninja, 58 kilos. I was a bit of an underdog. No one really took me seriously until ended up in the grand final. I'm not going to lie, you have been my hero of the competition. And even probably surprised myself a fair bit. The legend that is the Thurmanesa! Anything can happen when you hit the course. You know, there's a small amount of luck that's involved. Uh, you definitely have to have made sure that you've trained your balance, your agility, your grip, and all of that has to be on point. If you don't have all of that on point, you're coming off. I'm looking to go another step further this year and take home that title of Australia's first Ninja Warrior. The T-shirt says it all. Yes, it's the Furbinator. Who can forget this fellow from last year? Stuart Furs turned up the biggest misdirection in history. No one gave him a chance. He's surrounded by all these big lads all pushing weights in gym. This little fella turns up. Grand final. This year, he's going further. You've heard it first. The Furbinator is winning this competition. Oh, I like your confidence, Freddie Flintoff. Partner Ashanti and his sister and mum on the sideline there. Here we go, the South Australian, the Furbinator. You got this. Furby's a great example that the Ninja Warrior course does not discriminate. Heavy or light, male or female, if you're good enough, you'll do well here. Come on, Furby, lad. Swing surfer time. You may remember 17 ninjas fell victim to this night one. Come on, Stuart. Here we go, bouncing on the trampoline. Yes, he's got the distance. What a smooth landing. He's got to get off quick before it stops swinging. And he's done it. He was a real surprise packet in season two. Came 15th overall. So you are looking at one of our very best. Come on, Stuart. On the tuning forks. You'd imagine his weight will play well on this one. And he Gutted. Gutted. Oh, poor little fella. It may not be obvious at home, but the tuning forks aren't in a straight line. What that means is that Furby had to cross over himself on the middle fork, but you can see he misses his step with his left foot. From there, he wasn't able to recover his balance.